Just a little quick update video. Uh, it's been a while showing at the different dollies. I've acquired a few more and uh, to get an actual proper count of how many dolls we have would take a bit of work. I'd have to do a bit of thinking and talking to the wife. Meow! Meow. Right now, there's dollies everywhere. One of our friend's dollies. She's in need of some repair. She's kind of, uh, Fall, falling apart. And this is uh, Jenny's too, right? Yeah. The boy? And then what, what, else, what else we got here? A wig. That's a wig. And then... The new body for Ashi. Couple bodies. Woo! It's really floppy. It is a little floppy. You need to work. Look at that thing. Graced. So, our place is full of so much junk. Our place looks like it's full of trash, but it's just full of junk. We're pack rats. We have a one-bedroom apartment, and our friends are over every night. In fact, our friends are here right now. They just happen to be down in the garage, but I was getting warm and kind of felt like coming up for a little while. Here we got two more girls. The Tezka. Oh, did you find Sean Paul and the... They're in the basket. I was sitting in the basket. They were by the door earlier. Well, I moved them because Tara was going to knock them off. And then, uh, I suppose, this is kind of sad. There are, uh, there are a couple of dollies hiding in here. Let's see. There's Ivy. There's our Ivy girl. There's Ueys up here as well. Oh, there's Momo. There's Momoko. This is Ue. Okay, I see her. How many, how many girls we got buried in here? Three? Oh, there she is. Is it just three? I think it's just three. And then we got... Kitty's a Sashi doll. That's the one that we got that body for out in the living room that we need to work on. Extra soft torso. Looks like a bait. Oh yeah, there's the bait Nam over here too. There's an extreme stack. There's an extreme stack of dolls in here that uh, I'm not even going to try and pull ones out. There's Absinthe, and I have a video of her that I'm going to upload about how to do the uh, Bubitsu conversion. Um... Kitty got a few newer dolls at the uh, the little doll meet that we do in Chicago called um, Puddle. That's and we have Pizzazz. Pizzazz, the little foxy girl. And then we have uh, little blue-eyed Kibo blue Kitty doll. Mm -hmm. that, this one was done by a Requiem Art. Requiem? Blech. That one was done by True Fan. And this was done by True Fan. They're in my little uh, cardboard kitchen. More dollies on this side. I was working on the bathroom, and I had never finished it. This Barbie toilet is quite disturbing, because uh, when you open it and you push down the lid, it makes a terrible noise, and then there's a floater, which is, is kind of bad. Sad. Then we've got uh, Amelia's room. I can turn that off. There we go. And then we got Cody's room. And then on the bed here, that's where I've got my girls. We have Cody, who is my cinnamon roll. And while we were at Otakon, we got her a new wig, which is nice and soft. This is, uh, if I can kind of put it in the light here, her stock wig versus the wig we got her a little darker, but it's pretty much the same style. It's a lot nicer. I mean, I've conditioned this and it's a lot better than it was, but this wig is much nicer and cuter, and I've got a fat cat on my lap now. And we have Amelia, who's still dressed up from Otakon as Rin, and uh, she's a little moist. She was sitting too close to the air conditioner. It looks like she's all sweaty. Um, my new girls... Um, who have not decided on their eyes yet. I always kind of wanted to get a street, and we got one in Chicago. And she currently has Sosaseki's boat lights. I'm probably going to do a bright blue set of eyes in her. So, yeah, Melody. And she's wearing the little little schoolgirl outfit that we have that's by A-Zone, which is really nice quality clothing. It's a little expensive. Uh, don't be mad at me or anything, but it's terribly cute. Is uh... You got these very cute little, 
Like, I want to call them cotton panties. And A-Zone makes these for the Pure Nemo dolls, and they're nice and small, so they're not bulky, and they don't look like diapers. And you can get a pack of three of them from, you know, Hong Kong or whatever, for like less than ten bucks or something like that. So those are awesome, because they come just regular little cotton bikinis. There's a, They come in a, a blue one, a white one, and a pink one. And they have some different fancier ones, but these are nice and thin, so that you can have them on underneath pants, and it won't make the pants balloon up look like they're on a diaper. She's on a two-part soft bus, the body I want her to be on. Um, this is going to be her daughter, Harmony, who is currently on the stock doll body. She is a uh, Tweety. And uh, she's got this cute little wig that we actually got at Otacon last year, never used on anybody. And uh, my wife dressed her up and looks like what's parts of hangry stock. Um, silly fat kitty. Look at you. You make a good wall. You make such a good wall. And like my other girls that I've shown before, I don't think I've ever shown, you really get in the way. Terribly good at getting in the way. My original idea for the fir my first doll was Cassandra. And Jesus, fat kitty. You kind of see what it was that I did there. You're trying to get... Uh, Nice looking eyes and a hair color and similar style to match. She's more made to match uh, Soul Calibur 4. This book is Soul Calibur 3. And uh, she finally got her bust enlargement. I gave her the large bust off of uh, Melody's body and they just traded busts. I had to customize Melody's head a little bit. I had to trim a little bit into her head to make her neck peg fit because uh, the Type 1 head is a very small neck peg, of course. For Cassandra's sister, because I got Sophitia for my birthday last winter, so you can kind of basically see what I've done there. I uh, don't have outfits for them yet to match their characters. It's kind of a slow process. She is also dressed in quite the little punky outfit that's uh, A's own stuff. These boots, for example, are, are super cute. They unzip completely in the back, all the way down. There we go. See? So they're really easy to get on, and they're really nice, and they zip up, and the zipper looks nice on them, even. So this A-Zone stuff is really nice. The stockings are cute. Looks like her legs popped off a little ways. So that was originally the plan with her. The Fiona's Barbie dollhouse thing is an absolute shambles. Silly cat. Ooh. This kitty has this problem of, of licking shirts because that's how she likes to get her attention. We've got a couple more of Athena's dollies in the basket. So yeah, those are my those are my six girls. Uh, in all technical standards, don't lick her clothing. Um, technically only the outer four of these girls are mine, but these two basically have become adopted to be mine, more or less. And then Athena's got a couple others that I can't remember their names, the stock or the names that she gave them. <coughs> and I know that this is Shanti, and she is the Tokyo Doll Carnival doll. So she's cute, she's on a little Volks. I don't know if you want to mention that she's the Doll Carnival doll for 09. Oh, nine. Well, yeah, I suppose. So, yeah, those are our current uh, dolly situation. So, again, lots more bodies and body parts and some wig boxes. And uh, God knows how many dollies we're up to now. When I counted mm -hmm. after I did the body comparison video, we were up to, like, 23 between the two of us. But now we got to be somewhere around 30. So, yeah, I don't even know. It. It'll take some time to, to get that all straightened out. So that's my little dolly update. And some fat kitties. You gained the fatty. Yes, of course. She was attacking my shirt the whole time. Then uh, a little fluff of butt cleaning herself. On the, on the on my clean clothing, of she course. She scratched me. 